This man is clearly breathing and a lot of pain said to have been inflicted by his wife. She accused him of failing to account for 8,000 shillings and returning home late after delaying at the shops. The woman, Margaret Ocholo, claims that her husband returned home late in the night as she slept and disturbed her sleep. Local leaders here blame such incidents on the rampant poverty in the area and the fight for meager resources. Cases of domestic or gender-based violence are common, especially in rural communities. Studies have shown that women and children are the most vulnerable. It is estimated that 30 in 100 women globally have been in abusive relationships. In a bid to tackle this problem, these judges drawn from across the world are gathered here in Kampala to discuss sexual gender-based violence. Kenya's Chief Justice, Dr. William Mutunga, who was the chief guest, points to a patriarchal society, saying it has kept alive this form of human rights violation. GBV is more than a legal epidemic. It's a cultural epidemic. Our responses to it must include approaches that go beyond a staunch positivism. The participants called for strengthening the relevant laws to reflect the urgency in tackling gender-based violence and its intended effects. We are appealing to our judicial system and the judges specifically, and that's why we have them here, to look at some innovations that have taken place elsewhere, to look at other ways that it can be interpreted, expanding issues to do with provocation. Responses would include innovative ways to translate the language of human rights and constitutional rights into the vernacular of local justice. Attitude change, both on part of the bar, the bench, and also in parliament, to try to recognize the multifaceted nature of this problem. Shilandu Uchire, NTV.